welcome to the show, my friend, Jay. That's right. Another Jay Drexel. Hello, Jay. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. That was a great introduction. Never heard myself sound better than that. So I greatly appreciate it. Must be something in the name, Jay. I think that's what it is. I, I think there is something in the name, Jay. So let's go ahead and dive right in, Jay. Um, tell us your backstory. How did you get into real estate investing? Well, my backstory is uh, I, I grew up blue collar family, I'm one of eight kids, uh, and I never learned that whole thing to work uh, smarter, not harder. I was physical labor. I was a garbage man for several years. Um, basically, uh, around the crash of 708, I lost my job uh, and ended up, my home went into foreclosure. Didn't really was not in academia at all. I was I, not a book learner at the time. Um, and I knew that uh, when I was going through this, I'm a single dad, I had custom my son, and I was forced to move in my mom's basement, which wasn't very cool in my mid thirties. So I basically heard and read just like you and uh, so many uh, great investors out there that real estate's the number one way to create wealth. But I knew nobody in real estate uh, that had any bit of success. I didn't know how to get access to money. I had very little, a couple hundred dollars to my name at the time. Uh, of course, then my mom's basement. I was working part time in a friend's video game store. So a kid, a kid's job that I got made fun of by teenagers all the time because I didn't know anything about the games. Uh, but uh, I didn't know how to get into real estate. I wanted to be just like you. I wanted to be an investor, or, you know, own doors. I wanted to flip properties, but I had no idea how to go about it. And I didn't know that there were awesome people like you out there that can coach and mentor. I had no idea any of this stuff existed. And I happened to be doing uh, retail arbitrage to make some extra money, which was selling stuff on eBay at the time. And I stumbled across a book called The 16% Solution. Uh, we call it uh, written by a guy named Joel Moskowitz. It's now it's it's dated now, uh, but it basically just explained tax sales. And I remember seeing some infomercials on them and they made it look really simple and easy. And they said you could invest with just a few hundred dollars. I said, OK, I can do that. I showed up to a live sell and it wasn't anything like that. I They didn't have anything affordable for me to buy. If you've ever been to a tax sale, you know, they usually have the highest price stuff. They're bringing money to the local government. Uh, found out about direct buy tax liens from a county from another investor there or what a lot of people called OTC over the counter tax liens. And I made my first investment for seventy two dollars. Um, a few months later, I got a check for eighty five. So thirteen dollars profit. Woo. Uh, but it was 18 percent return. And that just got me going. And I, it eventually led me to different types of real estate, flipping and obviously rentals, all those things. But it was my entryway. And that's really what we focus on now is, hey, no matter what level you are, we can show you at least to get one investment to get you started. And it's just to uh, build, get that ball rolling. And as I said, that was well over a decade ago, almost a decade and a half. And I just consistently continued to buy until I could acquire actual properties uh, through tax sales and eventually traditionally or many of the ways that you educate on. And that kind of led me down that path where uh, now things have went digital, virtual, which we all seem to love now. And uh, now I buy consistently every single week and the, the complete the, the complete tax sell game has changed, especially in the last year or so because of the pandemic where areas weren't able to have live sales anymore. So a lot of things have moved online. Now you can buy liens and deeds all over the nation every single day of the year online. So it's really, really changed. That was my long story long. <laughs> there you go. 